She just want you for your money, but she calling me, babe. Check the phone last night, and my name popped up as a favorite DJ. Yeah. Welcome, YouTube family. Another beautiful day, and I'm back with another banging video. If you haven't seen the last video, it was my Sierra Nevada Brewing Company tour. Please go check it out. A lot, a lot of great stuff. Thanks to Tony who did the tour, the tour guide, awesome tour guide. And thanks to the Sierra, uh, Sierra Nevada Brewing Company for allowing us to come tour. That was just an amazing tour. Um, it's actually not too far from where I live in South Carolina. So just a pleasant surprise. And what I didn't get to show you guys in the last video was this awesome uh, it's a rum barrel age quad, but it's a, it is a beer and uh, this is part of their barrel age series trip in the woods uh, This is exclusive to the brewery. So you can only get that there But it comes in this awesome bottle uh, Almost like that champagne cork top. They actually said uh, it's similar. I'm not sure if it's this one Let's see Yeah, I think because of the the amount of alcohol that this is technically like a wine uh, but it is a beer because it is brewed by Sierra Nevada. But just awesome, awesome, awesome place. If you have the chance, go check it out. Uh, either the one in North Carolina or the one in California. Uh, just just a beautiful brewery. And like I said, I will uh, link that video hopefully somewhere. If not, just go to my page and check it out. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company Tour. Hard working man. Now today, guys... We are going on a bottle adventure. One Stuff that I feel like you usually typically see in other places, maybe one or two bottles that maybe not, but some of those bottles I've never seen, some of those bourbons you definitely can get some elsewhere, and some of them might be harder to find in your area. Um, I'll be honest, the Knob Creek 12 year is one I've been seeing pretty much a lot in a lot in a lot of this area here, and I probably should go ahead and pick it up before it becomes like highly sought after. But I've just been seeing it so many places that I've always passed on it. But I've heard really, really good things about the 12 year, I'd improve 12 years. Um, I think it was like 55 bucks, 60 bucks. So I think it was for a really, really good price too. But nonetheless, I didn't pick up anything from there. I'm gonna stop at another store close to one of the grocery stores here. This one might be a little tricky because it's a little smaller store. It has a smaller selection, so it might not take me long. But I'm not sure how he's gonna feel about filming. But I guess we'll see. So guys, stay tuned, keep it locked, and uh, on to the next door. All right, guys. So there's a little bit of success in that that store. That store sometimes definitely has some gems. Um, they have a nice collection there for like just your go-to stuff, your Pikesville, Knob Creek. They got a nice selection of, of four roses, kind of like you know the good stuff. Thankfully, I picked up two of those bottles, which I will show you guys later. Uh, but now on to the next door. One hundred. One hundred.
have much. Uh, there was one I was about to pull the trigger on, which was that Balconis. Have you ever had Balconis, man? Try it. If you never had it, try it. It's delicious. But I saw another whiskey in there that I picked up from another place. And it was about $8 cheaper. So even though it's not that big of a difference, you always want to save money, right? That happens sometimes. Uh, sometimes you get the better deal. Sometimes you get a bottle for a great deal. You go somewhere else and they got it marked up even higher. So ooh, I, I caught a break. So use your best judgment, guys, when you're out here bottle hunting. Uh, happens to the best of us. I'm going to Total Wine and more. Um, I know there's other variations of like Total Wine. Like I heard of another place called Liquor Barn and then they have all the other stores. But basically the big chain liquor stores. Uh, I'm, I'm headed there next. Usually they have a ton of stuff, a ton of new stuff, picks, you name it. So um, yeah, go check that out and hopefully leave out one couple more bottles, maybe one or two more bottles. And uh, then we'll head back home and, and, and I'll show you guys what I end up picking up. One hunt. One hunt. Right, guys so if you made it to this part of the video you saw all of the different options that i had to choose from today let me know down in the comments which ones you would have picked but maybe could have uh, expanded your selection or maybe did you wanted to try before but these are the three that i end up choosing for today's bottle hunting we went with jack daniels bonded these are now coming in the 700 milliliters, so that's why the bottle looks a little smaller. Still looks pretty good on the shelf, but uh, you'll start to see that apparently a lot more. 10 cup bourbon. They hear a lot of good things about that. Never saw it until I went into, man, I just realized it's aged 10 years. Wow, 10 cup bourbon aged 10 years. Did not realize it was aged 10 years. Um, when I went into this, uh, one of the liquor stores where I got both of these from. And then, believe it or not, man, this has been a lot harder to find at least in my area, I don't see the Elijah Craig barrel proof like I used to. Went to Total Wine, they had it. This is the B522. So this is uh, the newer batch. This is the most updated batch. Um, of course, age stated, 12 years, non-chill filtered. I mean, come on, man. It's uh, ECBC. Uh, that right? EC, ECBF. What is it? Elijah Crib, ECBP. Dang. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've jacked that one all up. Elijah Craig, barrel proof, uh, 12 years. This one is 121 proof. So I want to say this is uh, the, the first barrel proof I had was actually a lot stronger than this. I, mean, I want to say mine was somewhere up in the range of like 120 something, 130 something. It was way up there. Um, I had one of the first batches a couple years ago. So this is my first Elijah Craig barrel proof in a while. Looking forward to all three, all three of these. Did not realize the 10 cup bourbon was a 10 year. So that, that's, that just excited me. Uh, I just thought it was just a new, you know, the bourbon. I know they've been making American whiskey, but the fact that it's 10 years age is uh, really, really nice. Um, so definitely guys, looking forward to these. These are my three that I picked up today. And you saw I had a lot of options. Hopefully they have some of these Still there. Next time I want to go back, I pass on the Balconis. I pass on the Blue Runs. You know, sometimes it's just like that. Then you got to factor in budget, money, which honestly, I went over my budget slightly of what I wanted to spend. But that's okay. I'm proud. I'm happy with what I got. And I'm looking forward to tasting them. If guys, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe uh, to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Get, get updated for all the new videos and new content that's going to be coming your way that I'm going to be bringing out. Uh, it's going to be a lot more videos like this from different types of spirits, not just bourbon whiskey, um, but also trips. Um, we just went to the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Uh, vacations. You name it, you have it. Follow me. It's going to be an enjoyable year, and I want to take you guys on this journey with me. 
Thank you once again for taking the time out to view. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And this is the hard working man. One hundred. One hundred.